Hi everyone! Today I wanted to share with you guys a few of my favorite makeup items that I've been using consistently. Without further ado, I want to jump right into it because I, I do have quite a few items that I want to share with you guys. First thing that I've mentioned before and I, I still, I feel like this is my current holy grail favorite, favorite pencil liner. Um, I don't even use my liquid liner anymore just because I love this liner so much and it is the Miss Hana um, Smoky Eye Liner. This I got from iMomoko. I don't know where else you could purchase um, the brand Miss Hana but this is an Asian Japanese brand I think and it's just really 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 good for those of you who have oily lids and um, who have a hard time finding eyeliners that will stay on your waterline and stay on your lines without smudging, without smearing. This is a really good one. Oh, my cat decided to come out of the closet. Can you see me this whole time? Aww. Say hi to my Bum Buns. Her name is Bum Buns. She is a tabby and she's a stray that we picked up um, from the neighborhood. She was exploring one day and um, my downstairs friends found her and we just decided to keep her. She's so cute and cuddly. I love her. Hi everyone! Hi everyone! Oh, I want to say hi to my viewers. Hi! My name is Bandan and I love to cuddle with people. Oh. <laughs> hi! 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 <laughs> Okay, go. Okay, anyways, ever since I started using this liner, I haven't been using anything else. I've just been using this religiously, and it does not smear, does not smudge, it doesn't melt off, it doesn't do anything. It stays on put until I take it off with a um, makeup remover. So I really, really love this, and it's really, really pigmented and dark. As you can see, it's just a really good eyeliner. And again, I got this from Imamoko, and if you are interested, I will list their website down below for you to check out. And I think this is around maybe like $17 or something like that, which is quite pricey for a eyeliner, I think. But for the quality of it, I think it's really worth it. The second thing is also an eyeliner, and this is the Scandalized Waterproof Kajal, 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 I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, uh, Longwear Waterproof Eyeliner, and this is by Rimmel. Really like this in the waterline to open up the eyes. And here's a swatch of it right here. It is basically a nude liner that you can use on your waterline. I often use it on my waterline when I want that big dolly, like open eyed look. Oh, my cat. <laughs> She's playing with my resistance band. <laughs> um, like I said, I really like using this when I want to have a dolly open-eyed look. But sometimes that could look a little bit artificial. Um, so another way I use it is to just like highlight my inner corners with it. And it really opens the eyes and makes your eyes pop. Sometimes I even spot conceal with this. I know it's really weird, but if you're pale enough like I am, um, this works well as a concealer as well, so um, it's a multi-purpose item and really really affordable, probably like around $5 at the drugstore, so like this a lot. Since we're on the topic of eyes, I'm just going to finish the eye products. Um, a current mascara favorite is this um, it doesn't have a brand, but it looks like this, and I actually um, picked it up from Daiso. It's a rubber bristle that kind of reminds me of CoverGirl's Lash Blast. It's really thick and it has like those spiky um, bristles. Um, the wand is sort of flexible. And the formula is sort of like a gel formula and it claims to be waterproof. Now it's only waterproof if you don't put hot water or like warm water around your eye. If you cry and you have like really warm tears, I guess, it won't melt. Um, it's one of those film mascaras that stays put until you put warm water. And um, 
since it comes off with warm water it's really really easy to remove um, and it's super the, the reason why I love this is that it's super super lengthening and it's it keeps your curl like no other I was wearing this mascara in my spring makeup look video and you can see how it really really lengthens my my lashes next thing I want to mention is a um, HD powder and this is by City Color Cosmetics it's a hundred percent silica powder just like the Makeup Forever HD powder but this thing is probably around like five dollars which is super affordable and you get so much product like you don't think I'll be finishing this up anytime soon but I really do enjoy using this as a setting powder to just smooth everything out and to have a soft focus kind of effect Another thing from City Cosmetics, which I've been really enjoying, is the All Set Setting Spray with Silica. And this really reminds me of the other setting spray that I mentioned before, which is the NYX um, Matte Finish matte finish Setting Spray, which I really, really love. However, that one, if I am not careful with how I spray it, um, say if I like put too much it kind of makes my makeup look a little bit cakey but this one it doesn't have it doesn't claim to have a matte finish it's really natural looking after I spray it on and it does keep my makeup longer and also this is super affordable as well and like I said I'll have a coupon code for you guys if you are interested and I will put that somewhere here and down below for your consideration and the next item is also a city color um, item. City Color is a very very affordable brand. I think it's a really good quality brand for the price line that it is. And the next item is the City Chic um, lipstick and this one is in In Lust With You which is what I'm wearing right now. It's a really really pretty fuchsia color. This particular line of lipstick is very um, smooth and kind of glossy and um, it's really comfortable on the lips it's not the most long wearing lipstick but it is very pigmented and I really like the color payoff of it as you can see here um, I really enjoy their lipsticks and um, again they're super affordable so check them out the next item is a blush and it is by Model Co this is in Cosmopolitan number 01 and it is the blush cheek powder it looks like this it's a very nice pinky blush I've been wearing this so frequently like every single day it's like the perfect perfect pink color I'm wearing it right now it's very subtle yet it just makes you look flushed and pretty and I really really like the finish of it it's super smooth and it lasts forever I really love it and here's a swatch for you guys Super, super pretty. The next thing, oh, by the way, I got this particular blush in the April um, Boxy Charm, which I will also post a separate video on. Um, it actually came with quite a few things that I really, really enjoyed. I wanted to share with you guys in a separate video on all those items. Stay tuned, and that will be coming very soon. The next item also came from the April Boxy Charm box, and it is the Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick by Ulfra. And this color is in. Uh, I don't know what color this is in. It doesn't say the name, but it's a very pretty hot pink color. This lipstick. Lipstick is in liquid form, and it's kind of like a moussey texture, which kind of reminds me of the e.l.f dual ended was it elf i think it was elf it was like dual ended lip stain or something and um it's a whipped texture which is super long lasting and lightweight on the lips i'll swatch it for you guys here looks like that it's very pretty and what i like to do is i like to create the ombre lip effect with this and i just put it in the inner rim of my lips and it looks so fresh and so beautiful and natural and it stays put literally until you like wipe it off with force or something so i really really enjoy this for that kind of look and this also like i said it came in the april 
um, boxy charm box and I really like this. The next few things are lashes and these are my current favorite lashes. They are the Spring Heart Elegant Long Lashes and these are really really natural and really like flirty but natural and they're like the perfect length for my eye shape. I'm wearing a pair right now and they just look so natural and pretty and you know like perfect for an everyday look. I think they look really pretty so I really like these and I got these from Imomoko. I will list the, the website down below. Next lashes are also from Imomoko and these are the Salome um, lashes and they look like this. These are interesting because they are thicker in the middle and thinner on the outside. These lashes are good for creating like the dolly effect because the way that the dark part is, it kind of lines up with the dark, with your pupil or with your iris. It lines up with the iris and it just kind of has this widening effect. It kind of makes you look visually like your iris is, you know, bigger this way so it makes your eyes look rounder and thicker effortlessly I think these are really interesting lashes so I wanted to share with you guys and these are also from my Momoko <clears throat> last thing that I've really been curious about was these daily disposable lenses these are the Alcon one day um, these are really interesting because they're circle lenses that are daily disposables, meaning that you use them for one day and then you throw them away. The pattern on these is very natural. They're kind of like a light brown color. And the pattern is super, super cute. So they're not very enlarging, but they, they make your eyes kind of like sparkle and twinkle in a way that's very, very cute and flirty. And I like these a lot. They're so comfortable because they're really thin. I probably wear these for like 8 hours without feeling dry or like discomfort or anything like that. So I really really like these and these are also from Imomoko. Before I go, I want to share with you guys these lenses. These are the... These are the Neo Vision Glamour Browns. I got these from iCandies.com and they're so pretty and natural looking that I just can't get over how pretty they are but unfortunately they're not very comfortable in my eye I do have slight astigmatism so um, my eyes are kind of picky nowadays with circle lenses when I first started wearing circle lenses um, I kind of like took in any lens perfectly fine without feeling you know too much discomfort or whatever but um, as I got older my eyes are like slowly probably getting worse or something um, they're really picky with what lenses I wear so these are not the most comfortable lenses I have to be honest with you guys but they're just so pretty in the eye that I just I feel like it's such a shame because I love them so much um, they're a tiny bit bigger than the Geo Tritone Browns they're kind of similar so I guess like I would go back to the Geo Tritone Browns if I really wanted to look that similar to this but they're a little bit bigger and the, um, the outside of them the limbo ring, I guess, whatever you call them. Um, the ring is not a solid line, so that it makes it blend really well and it looks really, really natural. It's really unfortunate, but they're so pretty and I love them so much. Um, but if you are someone that doesn't really have problems with circle lenses um, and your eyes are not that picky and they'll take in any lenses like fine then I would really recommend these because they're so pretty and so beautiful and like it's just gorgeous and if you want to um, take a look at them I will list the link down below as well for you guys and if you want to see more pictures you can follow me on Instagram I post a lot of um, circle lens pictures or like face of the day pictures and sometimes items that I want to share with you guys on my Instagram I hope you guys enjoyed this favorites video I will be collecting more items and I'll probably have a uh, another video soon for you guys so I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys soon bye